Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we are in the data center and I even have a server on because um, well the truth is that at the moment I'm producing more power than I'm needing uh, solar panels and great big batteries are really helping my power usage in the summertime I guess the, the three months the, the the spring summer and fall I'm, I'm expecting that to have more power than I'm actually using so I thought well I might as well have a good server ready to go so right now I'm, I'm running on this little box up here that's the TerraMaster NAS thing and it uses only 15 watts and that was because this winter I didn't have a lot of power and I, I was trying to see if I could do it on solar and as there was no solar coming in I was trying to limit uh, and, and not waste any power so I, 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 I switched to that tiny little server but at the moment I'm really not in any power uh, I have plenty so um, I actually want to upgrade my server again because I, I did a lot of things to make it more power efficient like taking out the CPU and limiting the amount of RAM that it had just to use a little bit less power but well when there's plenty of power I might as well have at least the possibility of um, just running this server and another thing I've switched to Proxmox um, so right now it's running VMware, but I'm running Proxmox. So I wanted to, I want to power the server up and upgrade it, and then I want to get rid of VMware and install Proxmox on it. Um, I uh, disconnected the network uh, port on the back of the server so that it doesn't interfere with my Proxmox setup. But the idea is to add it into a Proxmox cluster so that um, I can move the virtual machines forth and back. It's a little bit complicated because of the internet, because I have a virtual router on the thing, but yeah, never mind. Uh, today's video, we're just gonna, we're gonna put another CPU in it and we're gonna put some more RAM in it. So it's, yeah, I thought it might be interesting. It's been a while. So uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. And entirely for video purposes, I turned the server on so that we could see what we are holding here. So uh, VMware ESXi 6.7, it's a Lenovo Think Center is R650, the awesome Lenovo. Um, and we have a CPU, we just have that one. Uh, and it's a CN Gold 6254, it's a 3.1 uh, gigahertz and it has 384 gigabytes of memory ish so at the moment it's not actually complaining I do remember that it was complaining a lot about that RAM earlier so well maybe it will it will do that again I see it's, it's not completely done down here I'm sure it's gonna be whining that it's not able to find the internet but we're just gonna power it up and then we're gonna power it down there it's done so um, it's powered up so I can power it down so we can get into it and upgrade and to power it down if 12 someone forgot to connect the keyboard hmm oh someone has uh, has used the keyboard converter in the bunker so had to go get it okay so now it should just be still not working Yes, the keyboard has to be connected when the server powers up to recognize it. Uh, okay, it's it's. Um. <laughs> Sorry. And I'll just go around the back and disconnect. There should be powered off, and it is. slide out without anything breaking there. and we can take the cover off it's a cover off it's a little bit dusty even though I haven't been using it for half a year 
So um, yeah, this is the awesome Renault SR650 version 1. Unfortunately, I only have the version 1. I would like the version 2 or the version 3. And I would very much like the AMD SR665 version 3. That would be marvelous. Okay, so we have one CPU here and we have six six blocks of RAM in here. So um, we're gonna put in the second CPU and we're gonna put in some more RAM uh, just because. And this is Lenovo branded RAM and it's yeah. Uh, I uh, just happened to have the CPU sitting around. Uh, on uh, mounted on the heatsink because I just took it out to save power uh, so it's sitting right here and yeah it's gonna be easy peasy to pop that back in even though uh, I do believe that I need to go get uh, the right Torx thingy uh, I don't believe I have that sitting around that would have been too easy so yeah we're gonna pop that in I need something to wipe it off. It has collected a bit of dust. <laughs> it's nothing bad, so I'm just I'm just touching it <laughs> and using my wet spit to get uh, rid of all of that crap. So um, yeah, this is a very nice way to destroy your server just by ruining all the pins underneath here. So uh, let's not do that. So. Um, we need to put this in and we need to put it in the same way as the other one is is located so I'll pop it around make sure that it's in the same in the right orientation it shouldn't be able to go in wrongly but let's not push it What's that? ah okay so it's up uh, up goes in like that there and I'm gonna keep this safe I might need it again um, I'm, I'm kind of lucky because uh, I never took the CPU off the heatsink here so I don't have to mess around with the with with the paste and all that good stuff so uh, let's see to install it's one two three four so uh, we're going to tighten this one first. Tight. And two. Tight. And let's see if we can hit number three. like that that's I'll tighten this a little bit before I tighten that the, the rest there being this tight. I guess that's probably okay then. Oh! Ghosts! Is this tight all the way? Yeah. Okay, so we might tighten it all the way. This, the other CPU is tightened down all the way, so... Yeah, that's all the way. And that's all the way. Okay, so that's uh, CPU number two is in. So let's fetch some RAM. So I have the RAM here. Uh, oh, sorry, that was the wrong RAM. This is the right RAM. 
Linux RAM. Um, yeah, and this server is very racist, so uh, you have to put in all the white blocks in before you put in the the black blocks. So uh, let's not mention that again. And that goes that way. This comes out, sorry. Okay, oops. Of course. <laughs> this is an air restrictor. If you don't have CPU number two in, you put this in so that all the cold air doesn't go that way, but actually cools the CPU and the, the, the RAM over here. Uh, there. Instead of just going the, the easiest way out. So I forgot about that. We're gonna save that right next to that one. So that should really just be it. Easy PC. Well, if it works. Uh, put that back on. Lock down the hatches. And it's gonna need a little bit of persuasion there. Ha <laughs> ha! Ready to go. It's blinking very quickly right now. It's gonna be a little bit there it goes. Now it's blinking slowly. When it blinks quickly it's because the IMM, the management adapter in here is booting up and before the IMM is booted up you, are, you can't really boot the server but now we can boot it and it will turn on and we should get something on the screen over here. There. Clearly says that I should firmware update this server before I install Proxmox on it. Apparently, I haven't done much since 2023, so uh, I'm a bit behind on that one. That's the issue with a 24-7 server that runs everything. Yeah, you don't take it down all the time. And here we can already see that we are on the right track. We now have uh, 768 gigabytes of RAM. It can take twice as much with uh, this. These are 64 gigabyte RAM blocks. But it can also take 128 gigabyte RAM blocks and yeah, except that being very expensive, it's, it's also not needed. And then it now sees two CPUs detected and that is 36 cores totally. And that then there's hyper threading uh, cores on top of that and it's, it's that CPU. So each of the processors has 18 cores. Uh, so um, so that is 72 total virtual cores and it's already whining about something and here we are VMware sees it as well two CPUs 768 gigabytes of RAM all good and done so very quick video just on putting a CPU and some more RAM in a server I'm gonna now um, boot the server and I'm gonna shut it down again and then I'm gonna firmware upgraded I think um, I do believe I need to reinstall Xclarity because that is installed at VMware and I've had no luck whatsoever to move it over to Proxmox and I think I'm at a point where I can just reinstall it it's uh, multiple generations way too old already so it actually I think it's quicker just to reinstall it and um, just bring a new one up in Proxmox and not bother with, with this. So that's probably going to be the next video. And then after that, we're going to install Proxmox on this server. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.